Hi everyone, my name is Lace. I was in foster care from ages 15 through 23. I was blessed to age out and take my time through the system because I did decide to go to um, a college university and pursue my degree. So I had the ability to stay until I was 23 and continue to have access to those resources. I think for me, the one subject that comes to mind very easily when I think of this question is um, trying to get a car. Um, I was in school, I went to Old Dominion University and my freshman year into sophomore year, I knew I wanted to obtain a vehicle and trying to get the loans for that was very difficult. Um, I just didn't have the information or the knowledge that I needed in order to gather that. Um, main example is I went to a few dealerships and I remember getting my credit pulled in every single dealership that I went to. Uh, and my classmate told me, you can actually just go to a bank institution and get your loan from an actual bank so that you can shop in every dealership and how only having your credit pulled with that one institution. Uh, information that he knew that he had access to because he's been through this process with his parents where I didn't have that. So for me, just having someone to walk me through the very simple things of like buying your first car um, or learning that information in advance would have been life-changing. I remember applying and having my foster parent help me apply for um, student aid when I wanted to go into school. But when I got to school, I remember just not having enough funds. Like I remember being so broke, like just a, like a broke college student. Uh, and it was just so many people like, oh, well, you know, there are, jobs or there are, you know, things that you can do or additional financial aid resources that you can apply for. There were also other grants that were available that I remember being told about it, but not necessarily how to access it or, or what website I can go to or um, just being able to walk into Registrar and just asking for more options. Again, these conversations just so happen to happen in the middle of a lunch or in the middle of a dinner with some of my classmates and then giving me access to these things. Like my parents told me that I can do this or my parents told me that this would be a great idea. So just little things like that, that I feel like I just didn't have the proper resources or access to. But once I figured it out by my sophomore year, I felt like I had a pretty pretty good handle on things financial aid wise, at least for me. I don't think that they do. Uh, I think the most important concept that I can use to explain the lack of understanding that they have for kids that have gone through foster care and gone to school or not gone to school, for me was holidays, winter breaks, summer breaks, those kinds of things, like having my friends having somewhere to go and for me to try to figure out what housing would look like for the following year and the following semester or through these gaps was a little harder for me than the average individual. And this was a time where my friends were like, wow, like I didn't know that you had to kind of think about that, that you had to figure that out, that um, this was a challenge that you had to face. I remember my freshman year, we had a hurricane and the school completely shut down. It was like a hurricane warning and we all had to leave campus. And I stayed on campus with two other people while everybody else got a chance to go home. So those were kind of like the scenarios and the reminders where my classmates were like, you know, this is, this is hard for people like you. And it's not something that you think of. It's not something that comes to mind very easily, but 
you feel yourself left out and you, you feel yourself in a bubble, like having to ask questions that people just know the answers to because they have someone to talk to about them or they have someone that they can call to kind of walk them through that. When I applied for like my taxes form, when you get a job and you're trying to fill that information out, it was three of us at the job fair that got a job that day and they're all like on the phone with their parents helping them fill out the paperwork. And I'm just like trying to listen to what they're saying and hoping that I'm also filling it out properly. So those type of challenges that you just don't usually think of or the, the little things of having somebody that just walks you through certain things that they know the information to, you just don't have access to those resources because you don't have anybody to call. And if you do have somebody to call like your social worker, which I did, my social worker was amazing. Sometimes they're not always available. They're in court, um, they're going through other kids that they're helping through. So it's just, it's, it's very difficult to go through the foster care system and then enter into society without having the support and the knowledge of all the things that you get exposed to early on that we just don't have the opportunities to have had access to.